Dr. Winstrup. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you all for being here. Um, my first question is, uh, through this process where there's been sightings, have the sightings been stationary or have they always been sighted from a moving object, from a plane or a ship that may be moving? Have these reports ever come from a stationary object being observed in the sky? The UAP Task Force does have uh, reports from stationary, uh, from sta reports from a stationary observer. Okay. There's a difference observing something when you're moving as right. well. It's, it's physics, right? That's right. why I asked that question. Uh, are we capable or have we made any breakthroughs or anyone made any breakthroughs to be able to cite something and make some determination at all of its composition, whether it's a solid or a gas? Uh, do, is there any such uh, capability? Um, from I'm not asking what, I'm just... Right. From, from some of the returns, I mean, it, it's clear that, uh, that the majority, well, it's clear that many of the observations we have are physical objects uh, from the, the sensor data that we have. Well, gas is physical is a physical object. It can be, and so, and you, you see where I'm going right. with this. I'm trying to determine what it is we're looking at. So, if we right. can decide if something is a solid or a gas, and and if there have been any conclusion on its capabilities, like its capabilities of of movement, uh, of turning, uh, going, you know, 180 degrees or 90 degree turn, anything along that line that we've been able to determine. Um, within the, uh, and again, I should point out that, uh, you know, that there is not a single explanation for UAP. They are, make up, there are a lot of different things uh, that, that are unidentified right, aerial phenomena. Basically, it's, but, we really don't know much on that. That's, that's all I'm trying to get at. We, and I'm pleased that you have protocol right now for our, our military, but are there any non-military reports coming forward of similar events, or is it all coming from military? Uh, the UAP Task Force has a very good working relationship uh, with the FAA. Uh, they have very good working relationship with other parts uh, of the U.S. government so that we can ingest reports uh, from um, uh, Do we have from, any from reports non-military? Yes. Thank you. That's, that's, that's my question. Um, and do we need to put out protocol for civilians that may be in that arena, like through FAA? Do you think that would be appropriate and helpful? I think standardized the reporting, without a doubt, is key to helping us get to, the, to ascertain what some of these are. I think it would be important as well. Do we, um, there are other people besides uh, the U.S. that have had these experiences and reported them? Is that correct? There are. That's correct. Uh, is it uh, all of our allies or is it allies and adversaries? What have we learned publicly? So some of that I think, sir, we'll save for closed session. Well, that goes to my next question. Publicly, have others said, made anything which would not have to be considered closed. So I don't want you to answer what they've said necessarily. Allies closed. have uh, have seen these. China has established its own version of a UAP task force. So uh, clearly, a number of countries have observations of uh, uh, of things in the airspace that they can't identify. And uh, do we share data with some, with all? Are they sharing with us? We share data with some, and some share data with us but not necessarily all that have publicly reported something? That's correct. Okay. Um, and I think that's a, an important thing, and for the other session, actually, that we, we don't discuss mm -hmm. that now, um, because, you know, obviously something like this can be uh, a national security challenge for us, no doubt about it. If they're developed by an adversary um, through some breakthrough technology, they can be very disruptive to our military actions, uh, or at least serve as a destruction. And so my caution would be, uh, be careful who we share our data with, and don't necessarily trust some of the data we may get from someone else. And with that, I yield back. 